Hi friends, it's a Friday, yay for Friday. Um, this week we've been reading the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. One day we read the original, well, one of the were kind of original, and then we read the silly one um, on uh, Wednesday. Today, it's not exactly Goldilocks the story, but it is about a girl named Goldilocks. And it says Goldilocks has chicken pox. Now, I don't know if you guys even know what chicken pox is anymore because it's a disease that kids used to get. Now, if you look at carefully, I don't know if you can see on the little girl's face. If I get close enough there, you can see and her face, her body, she's got little red spots all over. Nowadays, you guys get a shot so that you don't get chicken pox anymore. But when I was a little girl, and even when my kids were little, they got chicken pox. And they're little red bumps like that that get all over your body and itch, 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 itch. And are very contagious. Um, but we don't get chicken pox much anymore because you have the vaccination now. You have the shot to keep you from getting it. So this, but this story is called Goldilocks Has the Chicken Pox, and it's by Erin Dealey. So if you remember right, I mentioned the fact that she, um, in this story has is about Goldilocks, but it has a lot of the other characters from various fairy tales in it. So let's see what happens with Goldilocks Has Chicken Pox. Goldilocks has chicken pox from head to toe were polka dots. Where did you get them? Father said. But well, Goldilocks only shook her head. She didn't know where she got them. Mrs. Lox phoned Mama Bear, apologizing for the chair. But Baby Bear did not have spots, for bears cannot get chicken pox. So, so we see the three bears from the original Goldilocks story. But chicken pox? Not for bears. So we don't know who gave Goldilocks the chicken pox. Look, you can still see the broken chair. You're going to see the three bowls of porridge. Can chickens get them? Brother yelled as Henny Penny rang the bell. The sky is falling! Bok, bok! Hen Henny squawked. She had no time for chicken pox. Remember, Henny Penny was in in the stinky cheese man. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, come see my sister's sick. But father told them, not today, when Goldie's better, you can play. So he wanted Jack be nimble to come in and play, but because it's so contagious, he couldn't come in. Just like it is today with this coronavirus, isn't it? We can't have our friends over because it's so contagious. We can spread it to so many people. Goldilocks had chicken pox. They started out as tiny spots. Then rosy bumps began to form and Goldie's temperature was warm. She had a fever. On her tummy were 24. On her back, she found 12 more. Altogether, 36 small pink bumps that itched and itched. Ah, poor Goldilocks. She doesn't feel good. Please don't scratch them, said her mother. Let's connect them, said her brother. Look at how he wants to draw on her. We might find a teddy bear or a secret message hidden there. How would you like 
someone to draw in your face connecting the dots. Wouldn't be very fun, would it? But that's a brother for you. Leave them be, agreed Bo Peep, who happened by in search of sheep. That's sound advice for chicken pox. It doesn't work for wayward flocks. Oh, do you see this sheep hiding from little Bo Peep? Oh, Goldilocks has chicken pox, a type of virus, said the doc. Give her sodas, ice cream too. A nice cool bath will see her through. Oh, so she got to have pop and ice cream. Woo, lucky her. But she still didn't feel good, so it really wasn't good luck. Wasn't lucky her. <gasps> Yum, said brother. I want some. The doctor smiled. Oh, your time will come. No fair, cried brother with a pout. She gets it all and I'm left out. I think he doesn't realize how not fun the chicken pox are. Oh, look who's come. Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red came skipping by, her basket full of cake and pie. Can Goldie come to Graham's with me? I sure would like the company. Will her mom let her go to her gra to Red Riding Hood's grandma's house? Probably not, but look who's high picking in the window. The wolf. Oh, dear. But Goldilocks had chicken pox upon her hand she wore her socks why do you think she had socks on her hands remember i said that chicken pox were very itchy so you have fingernails on your fingers and if you scratch it would make it it could make it worse so her mom had her put socks on so that her fingernails would not scratch open the chicken pox Eek, a monster brother teased, oozing polka dot disease, an alien from outer space. Her brother laughed and scratched his face. Hmm, is that a typical brother teasing the sister? It sure is. I'm super locks. you can't get me. My powers are too strong, you see. Uh-oh, he's bragging an awful lot to Goldilocks, isn't he? What do you suppose might happen at the end of the story? Let's find out. Make him stop, cried Goldilocks. I can handle chicken pox, but how am I supposed to rest when my brother is such a pest? Oh, she doesn't feel good and her brother's not being very nice. Mother warned him, that will do. And then they saw them and they knew. Can you see on brother's face? Let's see if I can get it up here close enough. Uh, let me see. Whoop, we're over on this side. Can I get it up close enough so you can see? You can't see it. But he has spots on his face. Oh, that's better. Now you can see the spots. Her brother's face showed all the signs in rosy polka dot designs. And that's the end. So it really wasn't about the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, was it? It was just the character of Goldilocks who was sick. It's a good story for the days that it is for now. But we wouldn't want to get sick. That's why we've been staying inside, huh? So that's something you can do is you can use a character from uh, another nursery rhyme or, uh, or a fairy tale 
and you can retell it and make it a real person or something somebody that you know you can make up your own version of Goldilocks has chicken pox or Goldilocks has some other thing or or uh, Rapunzel has something or or uh, Belle from Beauty and the Beast has some you can make your stories go anywhere with your imagination okay my friends next week we will be reading we're going to kind of step out of the fairy tale zone and we're going except for this first one on Monday but after that we're just going to be reading some random stories but going back to one we've read we've and we've told the story of the three little pigs remember we we told the story of the three little pigs together then we read the true story of the three little pigs then we read a fracture another fractured fairy tale about the three little wolves and the big bad pig We've got one more version of the three little pigs that we will do on Monday. It's called the three javelinas. Now, javelina are, it's Spanish for pigs, and these are wild pigs that live in Arizona. And so the story is going to be about them. So it's very similar, but it will be different because it's about the area in Arizona so it'll be a little different so those of you that are in Arizona or New Mexico or or somewhere in the southwest you might really be able to relate to this story all right so we will do this one on Monday for now let us sing our goodbye song our peace song and then we'll say goodbye for the weekend how's that my peace, my peace is all I've got that I can give to you. My peace is all I've ever had. It's all I ever knew. I give my peace to my peace I leave with you for the weekend have a good weekend it's supposed to be a beautiful weekend sunny get outside play um, maybe you can social distance with some friends and family we're allowed to gather in groups of 10 now so who knows um, maybe we'll be able to get to see some other friends and people now um, have a good weekend we'll see you on Monday bye bye